Walker. It is now 518 on this Monday, and as expected, it was going to be a, a kind of a rainy day yes. today, and it has been <laughs> mostly. But look, is there is there a little bit of a glare there from it's, sun trying to get through? It's trying to peek it's through. Trying. It's right trying. Now. It's it trying. Is. is it going to give us full sun, though? Uh, we may have a couple of hours mm -hmm. of full sun, but where we have full yeah. sun, mm -hmm. we're also going to be concerned with some thunderstorms mm -hmm. developing. Oh, okay. And these thunderstorms are developing along and ahead of a cold front that will bring us... Oh, oh, give it to us. Another fall feel. Oh, I like oh, yeah. that. I'll yeah. take that. We'll Similar take to what we had over the weekend. <laughs> Which was spectacular. It Thank you. It was spectacular. <laughs> and boy, you could feel the difference today. High humidity was back. It's muggy. It's rainy. And again, all of this developing along and ahead of a cold front. Several areas of rain and storms that we're tracking. And we're keeping a very close eye especially across the western part of the state. Now, the higher level severe risk is still well to our west across parts of Missouri, locally at a one on our scale of one to five, but can't rule it out. Again, sunshine beginning to develop in the western part of the state, helping to uh, fuel the instability. And this is live Doppler 13 radar, where we are tracking a few spotty showers and can't rule out some thunderstorms. No lightning being detected, but some heavier pockets of rain near Fowler to just west of Attica, and we've got another cell developing near Terre Haute, and some spotty light rain coming out of Greenfield, tracking northeast from Spiceland to Newcastle. So this is the type of activity we're going to forecast over the next few hours. Yes, you may get into some sunshine, but we're not completely done with the storm chances. Because of the clouds today, 73, but with a little sunshine late afternoon, early evening, I think that high temperature will start to climb. Right now, we're still mainly cloudy, and 72 in Indianapolis, a south wind at 15. Definitely the mugginess is back. That dew point temperature and the uncomfortable range at 70. Future Track 13 shows those spotty thunderstorms developing out to our west. What holds together between now and sunset will mainly impact the western half of the state. As we get into the early part of tomorrow morning, another wave of rain and maybe a few embedded thunderstorms to kick off our Tuesday. So could be another wet morning drive tomorrow before the weather pattern starts to change this time tomorrow. As we get into late afternoon, early evening, the storm chances will come to an end. Scattered showers and storms mainly through late afternoon tomorrow. We get into some sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will rebound. We'll forecast upper 70s and low 80s, but then only in the 70s for highs on Wednesday afternoon. That's that fall feel that will be back for both Wednesday and Thursday. Still muggy tonight and tomorrow. Scattered showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms. We get to 81 tomorrow. Upper 70s after a couple of mornings in the 50s, Wednesday and Thursday. Looking ahead to Labor Day weekend, can't promise a completely dry weekend, but we do promise we'll stick with you all week and keep you updated on those rain chances for the Labor Day weekend and the timeline to help you make your plans for what, I guess, the last official weekend of summer. Oh, it's almost yeah. over. <laughs>